Okay, I recently had a subscriber send me this schematic diagram and wanted to get some help with these two questions. So it says here, state the steps of operations of this circuit. Well, basically, this is how this works. So here's your power supply. You have a 5-3 directional control valve with a closed center. Then, um, so what happens here is when you shift this lever over into this position here, it's going to shift oil will flow through the pilot to open check valve right here and it will lift up this weight. Now the amount of weight here really isn't important. The idea of this circuit is that when this weight gets up here, if it's a large weight and it needs to be held in place, the directional control valve, even though it's a closed center, cannot do that. So we have to add in a pilot to open check valve. And the point of this circuit is, is when this weight extends up and it needs to be held in position, the oil here cannot leak through the pilot to open check valve. The pilot to open check valve does a really good job of holding oil up to a certain amount of pressure, whatever this is rated for. So this pilot to open check valve just needs to be rated for how much ever pressure is going to be on this line right here at their B port. And that is a combination of the amount of weight that it's lifting and the area of the piston. So this will hold it up there theoretically indefinitely. Then it can shift back to the closed position and just hold. Let me rephrase that. When it's shifted back to the closed position, it will hold that weight. Now to retract it, this is a little bit trickier. To retract it, we shift into this position here. Oil will flow through here and here and to begin to put pressure on there. But again, not enough pressure to overcome this pilot valve, which would damage it. All right. if all of a sudden oil started leaking through. So that's why we have this X line here. This is a pilot signal. We know it's a pilot signal because it's a dashed line and it doesn't create any actuator movement. All right, And that's why we identify it as a pilot line. So what we do here is when we're in this position, oil comes and splits. It begins to push pressure down, pressure right here. And oil comes in here and oil will lift or open this check valve and then oil will begin to flow from here back down to tank and the cylinder can begin to retract. Now a couple of things. This is a little more technical than what most students need to know about a pilot to open check valve, but it is important if you're watching this and you're out in the field. There is typically with a pilot to open check valve a ratio associated with how much pressure is on the B port to how much pressure it takes to open this up. So if it's a four to one ratio, let's say you had, I'll use PSI, a thousand PSI here, it would take 250 PSI to open this up. Same thing as let's say we had a um, hundred bars here. In that case, it would take 25 bars to open this up. Now when this opens up, the cylinder will begin to drift down and as it drifts down, the pressure will drop on this side and sometimes can make this close and it will actually like shutter back and forth on, making the movement sometimes a little herky-jerky. There are some components we can add into this to help with that. Um, you could meter the oil out, creating a constant amount of back pressure to help slow that down. Um, but then the retraction is really, really slow. And that's okay if how fast it comes down isn't all that important. So this is just a basic understanding of how a pilot to open check valve works. If you have any questions, uh, leave it in the comments section. And if, as always, if you like the video, please hit like and subscribe. Thanks.